Hi, I'm Ruth LeBrow, Creative Therapist at St Anne's Hospice in Heal Green and today I thought I'd show you how to make um, a little Christmas tree that you could use as a place setting for Christmas for your family. So something along the lines of that, which is really easy to make, costs next to nothing and they, they just look really nice on your Christmas table. Okay, so what you're going to need is a pine cone, which has to be dry before you get going. You're going to need some acrylic paint again, again in Christmas tree colours. And you're going to need a little base. We use these at the hospice. They're little um, holders for tablets and the perfect thing for this size of pine cone. Um, you need a glue gun and some glue sticks. Um, some decorations to put on your trees. So these are a great, great way of getting some little baubles. So just little beads that you put around your, your normal Christmas tree. So you can cut them off and make them into little baubles. Or you can buy packs of baubles like these and like these from places like The Range and Hobbycraft. And they're not expensive at all and you get loads in a pack. Um, also, you can use a little bit of glitter to, uh, to glitter up your branches. And finally, a little bow if you want to for something along those lines where you can just put that on the base of your um, Christmas tree. Okay, so to paint these, you'd use a brush, something like that, which will enable you to get the paint in between the little branches of your tree. You can choose your colour theme of your tree depending on what you want really at home. So I'm quite a traditionalist and I like my greens and my reds. We get people who like whites, um, your greys, contemporary blues. So obviously you will decorate your tree and paint your tree in those colours. So when you're painting you can get right into those branches there and turn it all green. Or you can literally just put it on the edges and allow the brown to show through, which is a nice effect too. But also, don't do just a flat colour. Put a little bit of yellow in there. Or a little bit of black. And you do only need a little bit of black just to darken the colours up, because a little goes a long, long way. So then... When all of your tree is painted, you don't have to put snow on, but I think snow looks really nice on the edges of your branches. So get some white on your brush. It doesn't have to be dry. And just touch the edges. They're perfect, these little cones, because you just have these lovely little edges that you can just touch and just add a little bit of snow to. Now, if you do want to add some glitter to that and you only want it on the white bits, what you would have to do is paint the green tree, let that dry, put your white bits on and then sprinkle your glitter on because otherwise it'll just go absolutely everywhere. Which is not necessarily a bad thing because this one, that is done, that has glitter on all the way on all the branch and on the snow as well and it looks really pretty. Okay, so let that dry. And then we've got a little one here that's already dried. Um, get your base there. This is where your glue gun comes in and you glue all the way around there. Watch your fingers with your glue guns because they're really hot and they will burn. And then just position your, your cone in the best position because they're uneven at the bottom. So that's quite a nice position. So if that was glued, that would stick down quite well there. So that's your little tree. Coming to put your baubles on, as I say, it needs to be really dry before you do that. And then you would glue each little bit like that 
just put a little bit of glue on and then you would glue one on each on each little branch like that. So obviously you would glue those in place and then on the top you could put one of these little stars which you would fasten on there as well um, and maybe a little maybe a little bow at the bottom so that's more or less it but obviously there's different takes on this so so that's quite a little Scandinavian tree there which has gone with the traditional greens and reds We've got um, like a minimalist colour one, which looks really pretty. They look like little pearls on the white tree, which has also got glitter on. We've got greys, which is a popular colour there, which has got artificial snow on, which is a different effect. You've got light blue. Light blue and light pink, which could be for baby's first Christmases. You could put a little thing on the top that says um, happy first Christmas whoever and then these are the ones for the place setting so at the back of your star you could just add a little name um, and have your one at the side of each of your um, your settings on your table 